first before this happens. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the training room. This is where we practice Mortal Kombat. I'm just kidding, but I have for you today an unboxing video of a, something that came in the mail a little while back. It's a quadcopter frame. This shit flies, son. This thing flies or will fly as soon as we get the parts off of this one and put it on this one. And what this is, is uh, it's from China. It is the AliExpress new MWC X mode high quality. I will show you with screen capture. It is a quadcopter frame RC450. Uh, it's called Alien 450 and it's got landing gear included, which is supposed to be the landing gear for the DJI 450. It's, they say it's interchangeable. I got it for about 80 ringgit, no shipping. Uh, from AliExpress uh, on the website it says it's about 20 US dollars and it was like 20% off when I got it so it took like three weeks for it to get here that's the disadvantage of free shipping it's that uh, it takes like at least almost about a month but now it's here I have not opened this yet and I'm gonna open it it comes in a white shipping plastic you take it out there's nothing else in there right nothing missing so not bad then there's this giant ziploc bag okay opening it it's like disarming a bomb dun, 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 dun. oops oops oh this is not a ziploc bag oh so i guess i'm oh down and dirty <laughs> have to get dirty get dirty with it yeah it's not ziploc so they give you from the start white four pieces of what is this white landing gear i'm gonna open this first before we get onto the main box okay the landing gear is all white here are the pieces they got four holes on it and it will stand the quadcopter like this so i can take out landing gear so these are like the legs of the quadcopter and uh, what they do is they will absorb the force of the impact on the landing. Uh, one thing about landing gear is that after a while they kind of get a little bit bent. I was flying it and landing it quite hard and eventually got out of shape. So maybe plastic, it's made of plastic. I don't know whether it will experience the same thing, but we'll see later on when we fly it. Also included in the plastic, is uh, oh instructions it says high landing gear for SK 480 450 and the instructions oh okay this thing includes a lot of different frames actually uh, for example here you can see the quad but with a different frame design this is a one two three a hexa with a frame design for the 550 and on the back SK 480 which is a quad and SK620 which is also another hexa. I've never played around with hexas. Uh, also in the plastic are some screws. One thing about China is that make sure you got everything. So this is like one, two, three, four, four times four is 16. Yay, we're doing math. So count the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten screws. For 16 holes so it's the little things that matter you know it's, that's just a, a little detail now on to the main box um, it's a little bit deformed as you can see from being shipped around all the way from china and what we have here is we open it whoa that's not expected oh i thought it looked like wood <laughs> okay i thought it looked like wood so these are the arm or the wing booms is where we put the motors on it's made out of this really hard plastic but it feels kind of cheap it feels a little bit cheap and uh, when I ordered it from Aliexpress they gave me the, the choice to um, have different colors arms whether it's black and white or black and red or red and white I chose red and white because it's more traditional and more on par with DJI colors and uh, it, I just think it looks cooler that way but after seeing this this is definitely not the shade of red in the picture of the shade of red it's more of a bright red on the website this is more of a maroon this is obviously maroon if you can like kind of get the length of that so these are the arms these are the arms of the quadcopter 
you know, the arms that go like this, so you put the motors at the end. Uh, this is the white one, similar, not too different. Uh, this is where we put the motors on, and this is where it will attach to the main body. So, um, say the front ones would be like this, and the, the back ones would be like this. So, arms and landing gear. Now, on to the other stuff of the box. We have the main body, which is made of a also, uh, it's metal. Nice. It's metal? It's metallic. Okay. So, this this is the main body. It should go like this. There's a top plate and a bottom plate, obviously. And uh, I heard that these were meant to be flown with the, the NASA boards. So, there are some mounting holes here of different length and proportion, uh, which is fine, but uh, it will have to do some adjusting and tweaking and playing about when we try to get it with the APM 2.5 flight controller which is what I fly. Yeah, that's right ladies, I'm a pilot. I fly. So, uh, this is top and bottom. I'll check the instructions later. It will probably go onto it like this, I think. Yeah. So, as you can see, it's not really a perfect X. It's more of like a a hybrid with an elongated body but also a um, X arms okay it's not like the, the H arms like this but it has X outwards X arms and uh, with a little bit of an elongated body this is more of a traditional H copter okay this is the H copter where the booms are straight because what we want to do is put a camera here we don't want the arms in the way but this one has the arms kind of like forward like this and um, shape wise compared to the DIY one that I have over here it, it is more or less the same size it's a little bit smaller I'm gonna put it up if you can like move it like this it's a little bit smaller but it has much or well, if not comparable, how you say, forward length here. The length here is, is about the same as this one. Uh, okay, so what else came in the box? You have a, a strap. Oh, a strap! I think this is for the battery. What happens is when you put the battery on, you will strap tie it, which is much, much better. This is useful, which is much better than comp using something like this from my DIY build where I would slide the battery underneath and have a piece of velcro here. So you can also do both velcro and strap. Okay, that's pretty nice. That is quite handy. And uh, what is this? I have no idea what this is. I think this is a shock absorber thing. I will take it out. I mean, I have not flown any quads other than my DIY. I've never, I don't really know what else to expect from a commercial frame so since this is my first commercial frame it seems this seems like one of those vibration dampers for the the flight board i don't know i'll have to look back on whatever instructions or online they give you white velcro which is nice of them but you know velcro is pretty cheap uh, here's another plate i'm guessing it will go somewhere you could Oh, these are the studs. I think these are the studs to fix, to fix like this maybe. Uh, we'll see. But I'm just taking a look at what came in the box. We have a bunch of screws here and a bunch of screws here, which will probably be going on to the arms. Huh. Okay. I'm just not too sure what this plate is for. If you guys know, post in the comments down below. So all in all, we have uh, three different packets of screws. One for the landing gear and two for the frame. Th this one seems to be of much larger than the other one, but we'll just take it out. Time for some screw porn. Like that. And uh, they're definitely not the same size, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see. Yeah, different size, two sets of different sized screws. And that's it. We have the Alien new model 450 uh, quadcopter frame from China. Uh, pros, I'm pretty satisfied with the landing gear because the thing is, um, when I was trying to buy this frame, I had a choice between lelong.com.my, which is a Malaysian website, and AliExpress. Lelong had this product, the similar product for 110 ringgit, but minus this, 
without the landing gear. And uh, AliExpress had this for 80 ringgit, free shipping, including landing gear. Now I had bought stuff from China once, but then I told myself never again because I was quite dissatisfied, a little bit dissatisfied. This flight controller is from China. Uh, but I say I would give this setup um, 7 out of 10 overall product satisfaction 7 out of 10 aliexpress.com I am disappointed that they kind of lied in the website this is more of a bright red but of course uh, me being the artsy engineer that I am I could probably paint over it spray paint it with a brighter red upcoming episodes we will be uh, fixing this together putting all the junk on this one onto this one probably just you know forgetting this one entirely because I would like to see how well this the, the commercial frame flies and also we will be using a bunch of stuff left over from my old project uh, this is a power regulator all sorts of good stuff RC stuff this is my stuff this is the stuff that came in the mail so um, also, we'll be testing out a lot of different things like, uh, I'll show you this thing, uh, APM 2.5 GPS. We're going to fly and we're going to take you guys through every step of the way of getting a quadcopter trimmed and tuned and ready for the sky. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and get this video to at least 100 views and 20 likes and we will give you another quadcopter video as we race off to the skies with Science Epic. Thanks for watching folks and I'll see you next video.